conferência de imprensa com Victoria Tomova, apurado para, apurado para as meias finais de singulares voleiras Ladies Open. Victoria, congratulations, a good win for you. How did you feel on the court? Thank you. I think I did really well today. I had good tactic and I was following it uh, the whole match, so I think it uh, worked out really well for me and I'm happy about that. She eats the, the ball very strong, but I, I believe you, you, you try to, to mix it up uh, uh, the much as, yeah. as, you, as you can. Uh, it, that, that was a tactic for the, for the match? Yeah, I think uh, I really love to play on clay because I can. Uh, there are more uh, longer rallies and you can show better what you, you can mix and what you can do with the ball. Uh, when compared to the hard court, uh, it's not very much like this because if you play like uh, players who hit very big surf and return, it's really tough to, to play that way. And uh, yes, I'm happy with how I played today on, and also on the previous two matches. I think I'm finally starting to feel my game because it's just my second tournament on clay this year. So I'm happy uh, that I played this way today. And first time on the center court, uh, how, how do you feel on, on the court and what do you think about the, the, the I surrounding? Think, I actually, I think it's one of the uh, best uh, center courts I played. Uh, it's, really, it's really good. The ball doesn't bounce bad or anything. For a clay court, it's very important. And uh, the people who are taking care of the courts uh, are doing a great job. Um, yeah, so that's very nice. And I have very good memories from here. When I was 14, I won the uh, tournament under 14 in Maya Jovem, oh, which I think it's played yeah. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I just saw on the stories that they played, and it brought back very nice memories for me. And in, in, in that, that time, it was the, the only one in Portugal before? I th yeah, 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 I think so. Uh, maybe I played just one 60K like two years ago. Okay. Uh, sorry. Uh, no, uh, it was on hard court. Yeah. 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 There, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, there I played. So there I played. I think semi. So I guess I play good here in <laughs> Portugal. I like it, and the people are really nice with me. So yeah. What What were your expectations coming into this tournament? Uh, actually, not very big, cause uh, I was really, really sick uh, the week before. I had. It wasn't COVID. I mean, I thought it was, but I tested myself. And uh, I played in Marbella, it was a 125. I lost first round there and I was coughing really bad. So yeah, I couldn't show my best game and it was really tough to play this way because I couldn't breathe. So I didn't have many high expectations and I coming here, I didn't practice the way that I wanted to practice, but I'm happy that I got through the first uh, round win because it was really tough match. I played three sets and I'm, I was two points away from losing it. So I'm really happy that it turned out this way. Maybe that victory gives you a second life. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, I play more calm now. <laughs> And yeah, let's see where, how far I can go in this tournament, hopefully. And, and tomorrow we will face another big hitter, uh, Antuka. Yes. Uh, Antoka, I believe. Yes. Yeah. How, 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 how do you know about her and what do you expect from tomorrow? Well, I saw one of her matches the other day. She played really well. Yes, like you said, she's a, a big hitter. She's tall and she has a good serve. I think I have to mix again, <laughs> like the way I play. and. Uh, yeah, let's hope I can play the same way as I played today. Do you feel sorry? Do you feel comfortable to comfortable to, to play against uh, girls that that hit bigger than, than you? Well, yes, I guess on clay it's uh, better because, like I said, on the hard court it's a bit different to mix, and uh, nowadays all the hard courts are really fast, so. Yeah, I, I think I prefer to play on clay. Of course, I have some good results on the heart and the grass as well, but I think on the clay I can really show what I can do with the ball, like uh, play drop shots and mix with top spin and hit, so yeah.
like you said, you've had some good results on, on hard parts already this season. So was it tough for you to make the transition from hard to play in just a couple of weeks? Um, yeah, I guess I didn't have much time to play on the clay and to practice. But I think everybody is the same. The schedule is very tough. Uh, we play a lot of tournaments and you don't have much time to practice between the tournaments. But yeah, I'm really happy that um, I recovered, uh, not very fast, but I recovered from from the sickness and that I played those three good matches. So I think it's a really good um, preparation for me for the next tournaments on the clay. You are right now close to the top 100. Uh, that, that milestone that you never achieve, uh, achieve yet, but I see I see on the live rankings that you are dropping some points this yeah, week. Uh, what are your goals to the to the next couple of weeks and uh, maybe that this year? Yeah, well, yeah, unfortunately, not so good timing because yeah. last year the same week I played uh, semi-finals in Bogota and it was a big tournament. And well, I, I hope I'll do good here first of all, but if I don't do good here from for tomorrow or the day after, I mean, I have some good chance if I win the tournament that maybe I qualify for one girls main draw, but we see. Uh, otherwise, it's good also that I'm doing well now because um, I have very good chance for Wimbledon main draw also, because until then I won't be dropping points and I have from last year, uh, another semi-final in Belgrade, which is not going to drop before the deadline. So, yeah, hopefully <laughs> my biggest goal is to be main in those Grand Slams because their one win is a big difference in the points. And uh, one win is like 60, 70 points. And playing quality is three rounds is just 40 points. So And also in a prize money. I'll, yeah, I'll yeah, yeah, it's big difference, yeah. Most of the players that come here from, from both tournaments talk about that, about making the cut for Roland Garros and Wimbledon. Is it easy to get on court and forget about that while you are playing? Or well, I'm 27 you? now already. <laughs> I was 103. Um, and still I didn't make the top 100. But I mean, it's better to not, to not think about, to try and think just for the match. Because if you start to think every before every match, like I have to win now to, to make the cut. And it's put so much pressure on yourself. And I was a lot of um, times I was think, uh, trying to not think about that. But it's of course, it's hard because as you said, the ranking and the prize money and everything. It's a uh, pressure. So right now I'm just I, I'm, I'm I said to myself even if I don't make the cut for Wangaros main draw, I already qualified for Australian Open. So I had some good matches and I try try to think positive and not put so much pressure on myself because if you put some pressure on yeah. yourself, for sure you're gonna lose. <laughs> so yeah. And, and you are the number one player of your country on the human on the woman side, of course, on the men's side. That uh, the, the, you guys have uh, Grigor Dimitrov. What do you yeah. think about uh, about its legacy uh, in the in the country and, and, and yours too? Maybe you 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 will show to the the, the kids uh, a future to, in tennis in your country. I believe. Well, I really hope so. I will be really happy if I inspire some young kids like Grigor did because. I think because of him, uh, there are a lot of uh, young uh, girls and boys who started playing and they're really motivated. So, yeah, that's really important for our country to have um, this kind of players as Grigor. He was number three and he did uh, really well. Even if uh, he's not uh, right now in the top ten, he's uh, still... I really like his game and... Um, yeah, hopefully he can be back in top uh, five. But yeah, let's see. I hope I can also make it to first to the top 100 and then why not to the top 50? I think the biggest barrier is when you crawl, like when you get into top 100 and then when you play all the Grand Slams main draw, as I said, maybe it's a little bit, uh, it makes difference, I think. Are you close uh, with Grigor? Uh, are you friends? Uh, yeah, we were uh, we were having lunch at the Australian Open. He was always coming to me and my dad to talk with us. 
he's really uh, down on earth and he's really nice guy I think with everyone and do you think do you think it's easier for you to to have such a, a big star in your country like him it's easy for you to to to, to not uh, show show on the the papers and and, and the TVs so, so the 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 people always talk about him I, I believe I think do you think it's easier for, easier for you uh, actually I, I think it's better for me when the people are, don't know me so much okay. I don't <laughs> care because like he told me we were talking at the Australian Open and he's like I want to go back to Bulgaria for for some more time I want to buy a place there and at the same time he said I can't because all the people when he's there want to take pictures and he cannot go uh, on the streets like they're like all the time people you know want to interact with him and it, I think it's difficult because for me not many people know me there so I go I, I have walks I don't I, I, it's calm that way you know so I'm I'm just having like fun right now that it's this way and but we see maybe in the future if I am a little bit more famous we see how it is <laughs> I'm just curious from an outside perspective, sorry, what do you think have more impact in the tennis in your country, in being the top five or the, the ATP finals that you want? Uh, that's a good question. I really don't know about that, but uh, a lot of people were really happy when he won the Masters. So, yeah, I guess this was like the peak of his career. So, yeah, maybe the Masters. And he, and he, like you, uh, mix it up a little. Uh, the, the tennis uh, wise, in tennis wise, uh, drop shots, slices. It's yes. something that uh, the teachers uh, to teach you uh, in in Bulgarian to, to mix it up. The tennis. Well, I think it's very individual with okay. every player. Maybe not the coaches, but maybe it's. Um, Grigor has a very good feeling for the ball and, and he's very technically good. So I don't think you can very much teach someone that sure. either you have it or you don't have it. Okay. So, yeah. And now you, you we have another Bulgarian you know, on the settler court. Yes. Do you, do you watch the, the match? <laughs> yeah, I, I think so. I'll try and support him. It's important to push each other and I'm really happy that he's playing today the quarterfinals and hopefully he can also make it to the semis and maybe it will be very nice if we both win the tournament. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.